if uh, the Brotherhood of Steel could just help me deal with um, guys. Definitely fighting. Okay. Um, this. There's a lot of vicious dot here. How do you get night though? There we go. Security criminal. Have to open out a security gate. Close that one. Normally, this is a sealed area, so there shouldn't be any type of problem. Place. Oh. Going up. It's supposed to be uh, the highest place. Well. I won't say no, right?
going to first. One antenna. That's Where am I supposed to go? as I don't have that. Uh, uh, really? I won't be able to do too much, I mean, a lot of things to be honest. At least I know where I, I wanted to. I mean, with my health back. Right on. It's nuts.
Oh my goodness. My hunting rifle that shouldn't is my hunting rifle is uh um it's uh hey. oh here twelve thirty nine yeah a little better on this the only known prototype of next 27 viper magnetic rail built for the u.s military by Nick, also commonly referred to as rail gun weapon its energy cells to propel uh, the uranium around a series of magnets uh discharging at it at extremely high velocity even too costly to produce on a mass scale the project was abandoned in 2004 loan from the national these cases by diverse types of weapons by the military has conflicts all over the globe all right but these cases were vandal vandalized oh a jaw roasted uh, the M199 assault rifle, perhaps the most well-recognized weapon in the modern U.S. military arsenal. The M199 earned its nick back torture for who report uh, the firing mission makes as it gets a spent shell, firing standard 5.56 mm rounds. The M199 is still an infantry weapon in this army. Known for the national races, the diverse types of weapon and mission used by, used by the military in the past conflict. Alright. So that one. Uh, the Type 1861 Springfield rifle musket was the standard weapon from soldier in the American Civil War. It was a muzzle loaded weapon which tried a uh, a caliber in all in percussion caps instead of the flint lock. Right. A million of these weapons were manufactured for the soldiers during it. Getting uh things. So this is supposed to be the ring fire, right? On this player here. Uh, the aircraft above is the original right fire uh, one designed by Orville and Will Knight. On December 17, 1903, in Kitty Park, North Carolina, the vehicle performed its maiden flight for near 12 seconds, covering the distance of 120 feet. The event marked the first sustained and controlled heavier than air powered flight. Delta 9 exhibit, planetarium, Virgo exhibit, vault or. Oh. Yes. Research leads to. Wait. Research leads terminal. Um. Large entry 207701. Virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to attack 
has finally been localized by our research team identified after a complete our uh, cleanup on the mainframe score i'm happy to announce that the infection has been removed so this machine has improved right our entry 2076-1010 our new addition to the space flight gallery further to a lander is now open to the general public and ready for viewing i want to extend a hardly thank you and job well done to the entire research and operation team for pulling that pile of junk out of mothballs in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project. Well, talking of all thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your paycheck. Cover a pat on the back, weren't it? Well. Oh, page and a bonus. A paycheck. Um. Blood entry 2076-0307. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2008. If any of these interest you, please start by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the of date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get them in. The Personic Airliner, that computer prototype, original model T. E45 D power arm suit and laser pistol prototype. Right. Um log entry 2076 I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the fire the firearms exhibition that plans for temporarily displaying the atrium. Or the atrium, sorry. The world mentions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing uh, devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me and I urge you to rethink this decision. Alright, as for the large, last large entry, uh, 2076-0202, can someone... Yes. Planetarium projection system. The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and take over manually. I suggest that we remove the system and bring back the human elements to the audience for more. Museum of Technology Employee Terminal. Or with that down. Anything else? I mean, I remember, I know that one of there it was a uh, elf boy. Let's see what I have. I didn't take that. But now I know that I don't want to use it by chance. Alright. Uh, this is the Rob Crow Stealth Boy model three, uh, 3001. Um, personal stealth device, built by Robert Mayflower. Alright, Stealth Boy generates a multi field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other. They are almost invisible. Die. The untrained die. Yeah. I think that in the Museum of Technology, I will be able to find some, uh, thing. Cool. Do that. Um, welcome to the Museum of Technology System Upgrades, courtesy of Prime. Exhibit Guide. Um, Transportation Exhibit. Museum of Technology is proud to present the journey through the of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original, empowered car and the development of the internal combustion design. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear, nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine. See what happens firsthand when you turn the key. If it's sponsored by the 
Atlas Corporation. Robotic Tit. Museum of Technology is proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Gutsy, and Khan Robotics line. See the development of these metallurgic systems, how they've made nice. They are artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot, watch it obey your commands in real time. This but made rich. Ever look at robot the same again. Sponsored by Rob Crow and General at Comics National. Lights it take to the skies and slope above the clouds as you do our aircraft exhibits throughout the music technology. The original Wright Brothers flyer contains Vintage World War II. One must. Several other uh, aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also, sure, uh, we'll be sure to visit our flight experience gallery where you can see the airline flight on board a full size liner or step into the hair rising white knuckle world of air traffic control. Power of Terror exhibit sponsored by Lock Reed and Space flight exhibit. Countdown to excitement as you take uh, two stars in our brand new space, space flight gallery. Marvel at man's ingenuity as you that with which have the Virgo 2 participated in the first man move. Battle with forces beyond your comfort. Working the similar fight to, or to the stars in the Tropometrus of Planetarium. Bit sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Act. Special events. Vault Tech Vault of Tomorrow. Uh, thanks to a generous grant from the Vault Tech Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of actual Vault and observe all the modern geniuses of Vault Tech attitudes our legendary pure fallout shelters. Uh, interact with the exhibits within the vault and see just how life within one of these Iranian marvels is as comfortable as living at home. And tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the atrium. Uh, West Tech Power Armor Desk. West Tech, world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the T Power Armor suit in our Darwin Theater. The first hand look at how Armor, fine to the, any type of adversary, actual live combat sim using robotics target or robotic targets. Uh, time tickets are available. Yes, in the main game. In atrium, note that a liability leave you fine to. Um, lecture Oppenheimer's folly. That's funny because we had a um, movie dedicated to Oppenheimer uh, a long while ago. Uh, Oppenheimer's folly by Professor R.G. Dummy. Uh, this lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think and the effects have on the future of our planet. By illustrating the past of small-scale atomic weapons, Professor Dummy will shock you, frighten you, make you wish you could just dodge and cover to survive a real nuclear attack. We are now available for this lecture series at the mission desk in the main Planetarium ticket. Religious planetarium schedule subject to without notice. Require the information desk for prices. Long road to long road to Mars. PM, 3 p.m. 5 p.m. Ticket similar light throughout stars from our Earth to red planets. Journey beyond the universe. What lies beyond our universe? Take a theoretical journey farther than anyone's gone. We're all Best Stardust. The program asks the simple but thought provoking question Where did we come from? Uh, Zanny Plants Show. Join Captain Space Galaxy as he travels to the closest in the 
each of the worlds within it. And it's for kids sports to do. Gentle Max Tickets. Gentle Max Theater. Schedule is huh? Yikes. Uh, Chow and Fear has all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the river and give you a bird sky view of coming traffic. Roller coaster. Trap yourself in for the ride of your life, all from the safety of our 300 seat giant gentleman. Theater. Right, 10 of the world's most first roller coasters. Front seat. There's nothing cool. Natural anoscopy. In our special special kind of map technology, you can follow all the details of our our three stories team as you and voyage into the very friendly parts. Uh, there it is. I finally found a good place to ditch or share of the loot. Well, I'm uh, getting made it. I have the usual from go terminal. The security was a coach. Read the sequence. Three. If you make any mistakes, and it will lock you out. Put up in the usual spot late at time. Um, all right, okay. Take music. Um, read the sequence. It's in watch you out. All right, so made a mistake. Things. Patch those. Neutrotroller Quantum, the Rats plus nine. Oh, that. But, contrary, I'll take of a steam pack. So, There were only two um, super mutants. Go about that. Uh, this flag was recovered from the batch of the USS Bon Hull, US Navy's missile uh, cruiser, and of the coast of Alaska in 2006. It's all hands lost. Cutting the edge vessel's loss was due to a nuclear torpedo strike from the US submarine. This is interference during the Anchorage campaign. Uh, the submarine mistook the cruiser for an enemy vessel during radio silence and sent it to obtain visual confirmation. This rent has one of the most tragic disasters in US naval history. Well, too. Tell me about it. Overlooked inventors. Uh, these portraits. Oh, please. Um, by the renowned temporary artist Lynch and Myers, 
depict some of the more overlooked American inventors. Up to the bottom, left to right, Richard G. Richard G. Drew, Bess of Cape, 1925, James Ritty, Ash Register, 1879, Paul Timur D., Martin Meter, 1925, and Mary and Windshield Viper, That in here, wow. Like, is this, um, kind of a vault? This part is cut off. Crap map. Should be hope, but I won't. Want to worry about me? Pain of problem. I uh, cannot walk properly. Oh, also, a wrench. Grab metal wrench. Okay. Uh, what about this? It almost seems like, um, Newton's over there. I really want to go there. Let me... Gross, no? Oh, that was the place that I could not go in earlier. Oh, okay. Well, let's slide new. The weapons is by one. Yes, sir. Red okay. hammer. Control system. All right. Um, so this is the Museum of Technology Maintenance Department. Bolton MT twenty seventy six twelve eleven. 
Um, the planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next. Direct Remings, maintenance coordinator. Uh, Bolton MT2076, 1130. After numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, the, ginger to the Dragon Tomat Sphere's sound system lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that all employees working or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. A Bolton MT 1176 1170. Uh, this is a general announcement to any employees who use the main laboratory facility in the maintenance area. I have a lot too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. Uh, to prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, parts swipe the test will be required for each stall which will guard your name. I'm in the stall and contents of the bowl until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. As for the last one, due to, due to the increased power consumption from the installation of old tech to old tour, three new reactors have been installed in the sub basement set. It should help prevent any further brown, brown outs or food. Blackouts in the visitor galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks for your patience. Hey. Oh, power outage. Um. Okay. So to go to Virgo, to there, which is from the notes that I have, Virgo to Lunar Lander, that's where I should probably get a relay, relay boost reception. Here. Now I have to go there. And to baseball bat. That third person do. It's weird though, you know. Outfit. I roll switch. This is um a bit creepy with it, okay? Right.
this is in no way a real fault, right? Just, um... Just like, um... A wannabe fault. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Unless they unless they show me uh, this what it is to bolt, but in I'm I'm feeling some uh no deja vu. That's where I'm supposed to go, you know, the Delta one that sets bits, Planetarium, the third row two bits, are all housed in the West Wing. The fact that his, his, um, well, dipping like that, I'm quite close to the, the objective and the turrets are here. I didn't realize they were here. Uh, let's go. Now I haven't seen any super mutants, but I know there's somewhere. This is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle built by the US military. The XVB-02 Vertibird is a tall vertical takeoff and landing, wrapped with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. Uh, this is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed. And the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. Please, please do not let me. Um. No. Now two dots. Again. Like there's a bit of, um, you know, radiation.
forward bottle are out stacks. Okay. Space fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than a thousand Earth. Space fact number two. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles, it rotates once every 36 days. So the poles, every 36 rotate. Uh, but comes to the equator, okay, to the surface, um, this rotates once every 25.4 days. Right? A neutron star is dense and solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. Means a piece of a neutron star, uh, size of a pinhead, would weigh as much as a large building. Um, piece fact number four: the sun loses almost four million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. Adds up to almost 345 billion tons per day. In fact, number five. If we were to send a message to someone on the planet belonging to our closest, closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Century, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we wouldn't receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years. In fact, number six. There are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, with as few as 10 million stars up to the giants to 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. But, uh, is that number 7? If all of the particles that make up Saturn's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Fact number 8. Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370,000... Uh, it's 370 um, miles, which equates to 595 kilometers across, and rises 15 miles. 24 kilometers. That's three times taller than Mount Everest. Oh. So, okay. Over three. Okay. This is the same, I suppose. It is. These are definitely radioactive mushrooms. What is this? Yeah, well, I'm, um, uh, we're not right. 
Go. Uh, down here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. In. That's why oh. it's in. Steam pads are oh, useful, but These um, super mutants are no joke. By the way, is not the same thing. Right one. Um, unlock planetarium exit. Planetarium exit is now Entry. Okay. Yeah, I read that.
planetarium top show in progress. What if I wasn't prepared to deal with them? What, if, what would have um, happened? So you had a missile launcher. Of course. Of course. But um, a missile launcher can only uh, well, launch three missiles. That that's just not good enough. I have the space, even if I wanted to. Please sit back, relax, and free yourself from the bomb of our planet as we take off. Well, they um, the mutants, um, the mutants that were supposed to be area. This if. Was ah. Uh. Regarding the universe. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space. And it's good then. But yeah, that was um uh, was something. I don't know where that a door. For as long as history has been recorded. Two doors. Maybe let's go this way first. Uh, this way. Just almost. It's as though um, two super mutants were scripted to appear. This place owes the planetarium in the sea. That's. Bit is undergoing renovation and returns. Thanks. This is all about. Apparently, okay. I might not right away.
Alright, um, this place is better days. Um, Delta 9 Rocket. Delta 9 Rocket. Um, Delta 9 Rocket, by the USA in 2020, was the last of the manned rockets that sent out brave Americans out to the moon. The Delta 9 was in use for almost years before being converted to in having a crew and instrument sections replaced with a nuclear warhead, Delta 9 recorded over 77 launches. It is one of the most rockets in the rocket, held entitled by USSA scientists, a single stage vehicle with an injectable crew section for satellite storage. The propulsion system was a their electric uh, derivative drive in a massive adult thought reaction on launch. The crew section was protected from the radioactive chambers by way of a massive titanium uh, vanadium. Um, spacecraft had the capability to stay two astronauts up to 24 days maximum. On this space flight in a Delta 9 rocket was 17 days Zeus, 12 missions. Uh, show instruments, uh, show instruments set. Um, Delta 9 rock. Show crew section. Show propulsion, ocean section. The same. The same. Delta 9 rocket was by the United States States Space Administration by a grant from the Department of Antiquity. of my legs are crippled. Aye. Four. Right. For everything. Else. Up to me to venture in. Right now? I don't know. This is the actual USSA, a deep new space suit owned by Captain Paul Bell on May 5th, 1961. 
Captain Bell is credited as the first human space for the space capsule Defiant 7. This has been consistently refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiant 7's flight lasted for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds and achieved one full revolution around the Earth. Around the Earth sorry. You show me one more super mutants, super mutants. Sorry, um, that wants to oh, kill me. I'm going to be I'm going to be really upset. This unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by the very last man to fly to its surface in 2015. Bad is from the old Valiant 12 Burger 3 Lunar Lander, touched down November 14, 1969. Its remarkable condition construction. The flag is actually made of special materials to withstand the harsh environment of space. Um, well, there. That's. Captain Carl Bell. This is the actual skeleton of Captain, Captain Carl Bell who died on May 5th, 1960, after his space capsule crash landed. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human space on board the space capsule Defiant 7, but this has been transmitted by both China. Uh, donated by Edwin Bell. His wife, I suppose? Another one. Report. How am I uh, to life? I don't know. How am I supposed to survive? But Ola? fourteen teens. That's active. Did I heal myself right now? That's all that I did. This. Going to uh, it has to be alright. Is she still to what pit speed? 
Got two more. to save This is so, um... For as long as history has been recorded, a lot of my fate. <laughs> and that this of uh... Yeah, you do. Back. Get. Chin. Pine bar. Hey. So, uh. Had that this whole time. Whole time in. Tell me. When enemies are by. Of oh, this assault rifle. Better than I have. This now. Wait to the. Like to to eat. get this skeleton.
cooldowns by one. bear. with corpses. Finally. Um, finally. Finally roam free. Any disturbance. For war to fight. Uh, the medal in this were typically led to American pilots in World War II. Left to right, top row to bottom. Medal of Honor. Uh, this uh, service Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy Cross, Medal, Bond Star, and Double Heart. Toolbox.
going to be a bit Five, three. Oh no. Activate Vert. On July 16th, 1960, Murder to Luna Valiant 11 became the very first manned space vehicle launched down on the moon. Valiant 11's crew consisted of Richard Wade, Captain Mark Jarris, and Captain Michael Hayden of the USSA. We salute these, salute these brave and we took the very first steps on the country body of our own. The communications on Bird Road to remove. Going to treat the Bird Road to. Was the for the top 